Because the show goes on non-stop, it's comedy back to back. You are in for a good laugh because the next man coming on stage is hilarious. He's intellectually funny. Make some noise for the one and the only forever. Good evening. Good evening. Please answer me. I'm a married man. Good evening. <laughs> People respect me at home. <laughs> um, uh, my name is Forever. I'm a comedian. Uh, but this is not what I plan to do in my life. Uh, I studied mechanical engineering, graduated, had plans to work in oil company, but Nigeria changed my destiny. As I talk to you, I can no longer locate crankshaft. I'm not cracking jokes. And I know I'm not the only person in this world that Nigeria have changed their destiny. The best graduating student in my school, chemical engineering department, a maker one for. As I speak to you, currently he's the masquerade in Anambra. <laughs> <laughs> During New Year Festival, and the guy they do libation. Hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait, hey, wait. I said, I they make one for me. I said, My brother, I'm working for the gods. I just work not there for real. <laughs> My brother, there's no work in this country. Oh. There is no work or oh. anything you see do. Oh. <laughs> in 2008, in Enugu, I applied for the post of a sales girl. <laughs> no jokes. <laughs> I was trekking under Enugu sun. My shadow see boss. Well, I can't leave me. So I can't die with you. I saw six get needed. I bought full scholarship. Applied. The man was not on seat. Following evening, the man called me. Hello. I changed my voice to get. Hi. He said, sir, I saw your application. I said, yes, sir. He said, come to the office tomorrow. I went to the office the following morning. The man said, how can I help you? I said, sir, you called me yesterday. He said, what for? I said, for the job application. He said, it was a girl I called. I said, I'm the girl. I saw God help me at the fine work. There's no work, oh. That's why if you notice now, in this country, you cannot do one work and survive. That's why almost every church has a school. If you don't drop offering, you drop school fees. You must drop something. You cannot run. You know how many doctors that are working in the bank? You go and withdraw money. The man looks at you. Oh, guys, like the temperature is rising. And you ask him, how did you do this? He said, that's my first degree. It's the country that put me here. <laughs> Don't let anybody deceive you. But you see, um, a lot of things are happening in this country that we are taking for granted. Mona, wait to. Well done, God. Thank you. Um. My friend that works in America embassy was denied American visa. As they denied the guy, the guy shouted, Jesus. The lady said that name is just called, was also denied three times. <laughs> yeah. Nothing is real, though. Nothing is real. Ladies and gentlemen, in this country, COVID 19 came, changed a lot of things, changed and scattered many things. Before COVID-19, my son, I said, let me put the boy in crutch. My wife wanted to go to work. I said, let me walk too. So let this boy go to crutch now. Around February, I went there. I said, how much for crutch to register this boy? The lady that got with joy said, 600,000. I said, does not talk. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir, that's all. I said, for non-talking child. He said, yes, sir. I said, 600,000. He said, no, it's for the whole year. I said, how much monthly? He said, 50,000 monthly. I didn't know when I asked the girl. So from here, he go, go NYSC. He said, no, sir, that's all we charge. I said, wonderful. I said, okay, I will pay monthly. Ha. I didn't know that it was God that was working in me to pay monthly. I pay February, not the apple. Pay March. COVID-19 lockdown. I said, thank God. I for don't pay 500K on lockdown. I said, God, you are worthy. After lockdown and social distancing, the Christ said they can no longer take uh, 20 children, they reduce the number to 10. So they now increase the credit fee 
from 50k to 100. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as I speak to you by the grace of God, my son is currently a dropout. Um, I dropped him out. My wife was shouting, why are you dropping him out? I said, that is a sign of great men. Bigate is a dropout. Steve Jobs dropped out. Even Two-Face dropped out. My wife said, well, they dropped out at old age. I said, let him start early. Early to bed, early to rise. As I speak to you, my son is currently walking from home. Doing what nobody sends him. If you they watch TV now, you go yoko off TV. Before you throw away the tea, now you they check him. Because I go throw away the tea, they see ATM card. I say, when my ATM card turn to the tea, the boy is walking. One day, the boy break TV. I shout. I say, I will send you back to crash. The boy look me, tell me you don't have money. I said, not be your fault. A lot of things have changed. Many things are, are wrong. Are they advisable when you marry? Not the rush. One of my friends got married. After two weeks of marriage, you say forever. Marriage is sweet. I said, don't rush. I said, don't rush this thing. Because one man lied to me before I got married. Say forever. When you marry, be in charge. At the final man, I won't arrest them. Because five years have passed now. The only thing I'm in charge of is my charger. Before I got married, I was an Arsenal fan. As I speak to you, I support Nickelodeon. How I started watching Z Word, I don't know. But now, I mean, they come and have babe, they've started though. Sometimes she will tell me, I'm not a homo. Help me watch Krishi. It's by nine. You no, know, don't tell me you did not see Nyari. And when she was turning, you know, I thought, go sit down, they watch Krishi. My wife came back. I said, no, master. I said, God forbid. My husband talked to India. No, things are working. And are you aware that there are certain things that happen only in Lagos? You don't see all these person, they say, if my driving is wrong, call this number. Have you ever called the number? In the work, oh, I saw a school bus. The oldest child on that bus cannot be more than four years old. The man was driving any I said, let me even call the number and report the bus driver. I said, hello, one man picked. The man said, hello, how can I help you? I said, I want to report your school bus. The driver is driving anyhow, endangering the life of children in the bus. The plate number is BDG418EE. -E. Sack him up, penalize him. Next night was, ooh, God will punish you. Wicked Nigerians. I know that's how all of you behave. That's why I removed your number and put my number. Idiot. Instead of people to overtake me and tell me, Waka, you are calling them to sack me. If they sack me, who will feed my children? Oh, God, we jam you now. Yeah, yeah, man. I end the call. Call the second line. Hello. I hear. Don't bother the two see my in one phone. Idiot. I saw man, I saw Lagos be. <laughs> Boss, this Lagos, yeah, yeah, place. You live in Lekki, you will peace. You go flush toilet and peace, they flush peace. You go, they want that. Which can wala be this? When what I want to clean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. So when I first come, Lagos, I stay forever. You have to dress like Lagosians. Don't be dressing like people from the East. I say, okay, no problem. I say, what do I do? I say, I should go to Yaba, I will buy jeans. One, one, five. I say, no problem. I said, they're going to see cheap clothes for my 12 on that bridge. Because they stay Kurudu. Packet shirt, long sleeve. I can't forget. Red and black graph shirt. God will judge that guy. I say, how much? He say, 700. I say, can I test it? He say, 15. I say, I don't understand. He say, the folding technique hard. So to remove her for nylon, put her back, now 800. I say, okay, no problem. I will buy by faith. I now bought long sleeve. I reached house. One hand was long sleeve, one hand was sleeveless. I've never cursed anybody in the place of prayer. Now that guy be the first person when I curse. Following day, I went to Yaba. I said, no problem. I said, let me just go to Yaba gently. I went to this guy's shop. I said, do you have jeans? He said, yes. I said, how much? He said, five, five hundred. I said, why is it cheap? He said, just open the bay from Kotonu. I said, no problem. Do you have blue jeans? He says, everywhere. The whole shop was blue. Blue lights. I said, you get blue. He said, see it everywhere. I bought six blue jeans. Got home as I brought that gifts from nylon. This guy saw six yellow jeans for me. <laughs> my roommate said, You want to dry last month? I said, I don't understand though. He said, Will you buy yellow jeans? I said, My brother, the jeans was blue in the shop. Oh. He said, Was the shop blue? I said, I said, That guy does not have blue jeans. He says, He lights. 
I went back. I saw God, God will punish you. You saw sociologists for me. The guy said, No. He said, you saw, he said, Where is it? Inside the shop. I bring a man. It didn't change back to blue. He said, What? I said, It's blue. Yeah. I said, Let's go outside. The guy said, Don't sell outside. He said, Don't sell outside. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, we're now okay. Lagos, powerful place, so I respect people in this place. Lagos is the only place in the whole world where Google Map will lead you to one way. You should be driving here in 800 meters, turn right. You will not turn right. After four minutes, my mind was telling forever you have entered one way. Because now let me they go that side. And everybody, when they pass the shake, they're like, oh, oh, oh. And I saw last man, now when I saw a guy, is this one way? The man said, yes, so this is when they pay, when we catch them. <laughs> Just come down. Lagos is the only place in the world where you are on a lane now. Two minutes later, you are laneless. How you left the lane, you don't know. But you are doing thumbs up. Baba, my enter, my enter. I respect this land, though. Powerful place. Before I go, this Lagos have shown us that the way things are run here, when I first come to Lagos, they lied to me. Oh, I saw beautiful places, fine, fine videos of skyscrapers. Came to Lagos. One boy that got with George Henry, oh, me, I will call your name everywhere I go to. <laughs> Deceive me that I will get a good house at Ikorodu. I say, how come? He says, it's Lagos. That Lagos is large. Went to Ikorodu around 12, the road was free. I said, there's even no traffic on this side. I don't know when they call the traffic never closed from work. <laughs> and I saw her 72,000. I paid. Called my friend that lives in Lekki. I said, my brother, I've got in the house. He said, so quick. I said, it's God. <laughs> he said, where did you get this out? I said, Kurodu. And he made a statement. My friend, you just went back to the east. <laughs> I didn't understand until the following morning. Following morning, I was at a Greek bus stop. Bus was full by 10. We never moved. I asked the man next to me, I saw a guy, what kind of traffic is this today? He said, they move today, it's every day. Eh? And I came to stay here. I said, where's your time of route? He said, Shagamu. I said, don't be alright. They go, no, Jota. He said, you have to be patient. And I started asking him, I said, oh, God, before I came to Lagos, I saw skyscrapers of Lagos. I've not seen it on this side. He man said, you can never see it on this side. I said, why? He said, because Lagos is divided into two parts. I said, what are the parts? He said, island and mainland. I said, what is the difference? He said, island is for the rich. Mainland is for the upcoming rich. I said, so where are we? He said, one other lands. <laughs> I said, so I'm never close to making it. He said, Baba, you're never near. He said, how much is your rent? I said, what does my rent have to do with whether I'm in Lagos or not? He said, how much is your rent? I said, 72,000. He said, your mind told you that you're in Lagos. I said, I don't understand, though. He said, Lagos rent is from 250K upwards. I said, so, Oga, where really am I? He said, you're at the Jebode extension. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. My name is Forever. Have a good night.